Hello all. In this video, I am going to show you a digital clock controlled by Arduino Uno. The clock is finally controlled by a group of shift registers. The data from the Arduino Uno is fed to the shift registers and they are fed to 7 segment display finally. You can see here the date now. 12.08, it is 12th August, the date I am getting now. So this is my clock. Now you can see it is counting the clock. It is 2.24 now, the set time. So it is showing here, you can see 2.24. Okay, so now it is showing you the temperature. It is 29.7 degree is the temperature in my house now. So 30 degree or 29.75 is the temperature now. So this is my quick view of the digital clock. You can see here a bunch of wires. All these bunch of wires are connected to a group of shift registers. All these bunch of wires are connected to a group of shift registers as you can see here. In the background, you can see there are so many shift registers. These ICs are there. As you can see, see here in the background, there are many ICs. You can see here, see these are the ICs. I am putting my pen on the ICs, see the black chips. Okay, so these are the ones, shift registers. They are shifting the data from the Arduino Uno. So basically what I am doing, I am having a RTC real time clock module. So you can see here this is my real time clock module. This is the real time clock module. This is the real time clock module. So the real time clock module as you can see has few wires. One is the supply wire. One is the clock wire. One is the data wire. So basically the serial clock module. This clock module is feeding the real time to the Arduino Uno board. The Arduino Uno board is finally processing the time. See, this is the Arduino Uno board, as you all know. This is the Arduino Uno board. So, yeah. So, this clock module is feeding the data for time to the Arduino Uno board through I square C bus. So, it is using I square C bus. All the serial and clock data is being fed to the Arduino Uno. So, these two wires are responsible for the data transmission between the clock module and the Arduino Uno. So the whatever data it is getting for the time, temperature, date, year, everything, all the data is processed by the software in the Arduino Uno board. So this is my Arduino Uno microcontroller. As you can see, this is the microcontroller. Okay. So 80 mega series, 80 mega 328P. So this microcontroller is programmed in Arduino and it is processing the incoming data from the real-time clock controller. So finally, whatever data it is getting, it is transferring to the shift registers. See, this is the shift register block. So it is transferring to the shift register using this white and black wires. These are the clock and data wires. You can see this is the data wire and the other black one is the clock wire. So it is giving the data, feeding the data to the shift register block. So finally, I am getting the data in the seven segment display as you can see here now it is showing the temperature so there is a minor flicker in the display that flicker can be controlled with a proper delay so my delay is presently present that's why there is a flicker on the display so that flicker later on in the software upgrade i will uh, eliminate so now you can see here <coughs> it is showing the date it is showing the date yeah it is 12th august so it is showing the date. You can see the two seven the, the two uh, the two DP lines are active. The two DP lines are active. So these are the two DP lines. You can see the decimal points. These both the decimal points are active. Okay. So now I am seeing the date. Okay. So now you can see a bunch of wires. A number of wires in this mode is little more. But in this mode, if we follow, we can see that only few. Uh, IO points or IO pins are used. So you can see here now it is counting the time. So the two DP lines are glowing. You can see the both the DP lines now it is counting the temperature. So this is how this this uh, this this equipment is working. Okay, so yeah, again it is showing the date. So like that it is uh, in the loop in the software there is a loop. Okay. 
so now as you can see here the arduino is, you know is processing everything the board is now powered using the pc so later on the power will be given from the external power supply so let us have a look on the software at little so this is my software as you can see here so this is my software so you can see here so this line is responsible for the display so whatever is fed here if we if zero is called so this number will be taken from here from the array if one is called this number will be taken from the array and so on up to 9 so if when it is 9 in the array it has to call 0x90 okay so i am using 3231 ds3231 rtc so this is my software block you can see the part of the software i will describe in my instructables video so one important thing i need to discuss here is when we are first time initializing the clock we need to give the data to the clock okay so let us initialize the clock for the first time once so let me let me reboot the board i am not having any battery in the rtc so if i reboot the board my all the data will be lost whatever the timing setting is there will be lost so i want to lo lose these settings and I, i want to reprogram my arduino uno so just i will pause the video i'll prepare the environment and i will start the video again so as you can see here this is my compiler report so i will open my serial port so my serial port is now ready so once the serial port is ready i am going to press any key so when i am pressing any key it is coming welcome to the clock adjust menu it with the software is designed in such a way that it will wait for 10 seconds a uh, 30 seconds for any data in case of a reboot in case of a power reboot so in case of a power reboot it will look for any physical data coming so it is now waiting for the data so i am going to send here the data let let us send it is 4 4 am in the morning so 04 Okay, so it is asking me, please enter hours. Okay, so I will enter hours. Zero four is my hours. Okay, four a.m. Then see, it is asking me, please enter minutes. So I am going to enter minutes. Suppose I will put forty five. I will put forty five here, and I will hit enter. So it has taken. It is minute is forty five minutes. So four four a four a.m. forty five minutes. Four hours forty five minutes. it is now asking me the seconds so let us put something 56 okay so i will put enter 56 so now it is asking me you can see here the seconds it is 56 you can see here seconds is 56 so i am entering initializing the, the display so now let us put the date so it is today is 12th of august so i will enter 12th i will hit enter so it is telling me you can see here date okay please enter month i will put 08 on the serial monitor i will put 08 so see it is it already taken 08 is the month now i will put the year it is 2023 2023 let's hit enter so now the clock has initialized now it has started counting so when i am coming back to the module let us switch off the uh, lights yeah you can see here this is the temperature it is updating the temperature now so we will just wait a little i will pause the video okay no it is showing already it is showing the date see you you have seen in the video that i have configured the time as 12 12 12 uh, 12th august 1208 so it is showing 1208 as the uh, as the uh, date and the month date and the month i have used 1208 so 12th of august so it is showing 12th of august okay so now it will show the time in the next counting of the software it will show the time see now you can see here it is 448 i have programmed it as 445 i guess yeah For four forty five, I have programmed. So now it is four forty eight. Okay, so the temperature is loop loop has activated now. So this is all for today. 
just a minute i have switched on the lights so this is all for today this is my serial clock okay so like this based on shift register i have designed my clock so this is all for today thanks a lot thanks for watching